Nice little lick to open up a great song by one of my all-time favorite songwriters, Al Stewart. That is, of course, Time Passages, which is really a, a keyboard song, but it makes a nice little guitar song. And I keep thinking about doing a lesson on it, and if enough people push me to do it, it'll happen. But uh, this was Al's kind of follow-up album to his huge, what put Al on the map was his seventh album, folks. <laughs> Was of course Year of the Cat. Um, some great songs on there. One Stage Before, Flying Sorcery, Lord Grenville, On the Border. Oh, it's an F sharp minor. Anyway, um, Al wrote some great songs, and I love teaching them to students, especially ones that are not too familiar with his stuff, because as soon as I play one or two of his songs, they come back saying, Can I borrow all those albums? And so, Al, one of the greatest songwriters around of our day. So. Uh, but Time Passages is a song I like to have people work on for a couple reasons. It's a neat little harmony of notes in mostly in thirds, actually all in thirds, with an occasional other chordal tone happening in there, with just a D pedal point in the bass. So I'm just hitting the open D in the bass and then just playing thirds on the second string at two notes at the second and third strings, two notes at the seventh fret, a D and an F sharp which are notes out of a D chord. So I've got my third and fourth fingers playing those because then we're really going to an A chord at the fifth and sixth frets of the same string. Now that's a really dissonant sound because it's an A chord or two or a root and a third of an A, well, a third and a fifth of an A chord with a D in the bass. But when you hear it by itself, it sounds pretty bad, but the dissonance disappears when you hear the rest of the line. So you listen to music this way, not this way, and it sounds better. So we've got the two notes from a D chord to the two notes from an A chord at the fifth and sixth frets, still with the D in the bass, then dropping down to notes in a G chord at the third fret, sliding them up, and then flattening out your first finger to make a little three string version of the A chord, which includes a partial bar at the fifth fret. So anyway, I am, I would be really excited to do more lessons on Al Stewart songs, and this would be top of the list. Almost Lucy would be another one from the same album. This album, by the way, Time Passages, was produced by Alan Parsons, who at the time was making his own name with, with of course, the Alan Parsons Project, but he did a spectacular job on these two albums of Al's. Year of the Cat that came out in 76, and then Time Passages just two years later, that um, really put Al on the map. And uh, the, the production and, and the songwriting is just top notch. So if you're not too familiar with those albums, I really encourage you checking them out because Al is one of the greatest of all time. Now we have other, a lot of other lessons, hundreds of lessons on songs like this. This is, this is my period, the 70s, and, and uh, and great songwriting, great guitar playing that was going on down there. So over at TotallyGuitars.com there are tons and tons of lessons along with a big community of people that are talking about this kind of stuff on, on a forum. People are uploading videos to our upload our student review channel that people, other people comment on. And if you would like to see a particular lesson, whether it's something by Al or anybody else, you have to just check out the recommend a lesson button right there on the home page and they'll take you to a spot where you can see the songs that people are recommending and even more important songs they're voting for and when songs get uh, when I see that there might be hundreds of people wanting the same song I uh, try to move that one up on the priority list as far as what we're doing over there so really encourage you to come over check out totallyguitars.com there's a lot of great stuff a lot of great free stuff and a lot of great lessons so it could be one of the best things you do for your guitar playing in the uh, immediate future